Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hotel Management System project tutorial for beginner. So in the previous tutorial, we integrate HTML template in our project and before that tutorial, we have make multiple authentication system in our project. So in this tutorial, what we are going to do is that we are going to combine multiple authentication and this template together. So first of all, what we will do is that we will have login and registration button over here. So for it, let's go back to our code and here you can see in the index.blade.php we have home.header in the header we have basically this part so in the header we'll have login and registration button so for it let's go to our uh, header.blade.php which is this one here you can see uh, inside the home folder we have header.blade.php so we go inside and if you now go down here you can see contact us so after this contact us we'll have two more list so let me just copy this list and paste it two times. So here we are going to set instead of contact we are going to set login and here we will say register. So right now if we save it, then if we now refresh here, there you can see we have two more options login and register. So let's go and make some design for login and register. So for it what we will do is that uh, here you can see for login we have class nav link so instead of nav link we are going to say btn btn uh, let's say it success and this one will be btn btn primary so let's say here btn btn it will be primary save it again refresh and there you go so you can see the button are close to each other so we can make some space among them uh, for it let's just write this simple style over here let's say padding right it will be 10 px save it then refresh again and there you go there is some gap so right now what you are is that when you click on this login button it will take us to the login page uh, so for it what we will do is that here in the url for login we are going to say url uh, sorry we need to give to second bracket first then we'll say here url to first bracket to single quotation we'll say here login so basically what this will do is that when someone click on this login button it will call the url login so what is this login url uh, that is when you write over here slash login and press enter it will take you to the login page and this login was created by JSTeam. So we did not have to create anything. JSTeam did it for us. So since we just write over here, you are a login. So whenever we click on the click on the login button, it will take us to the login base right now. So let's do the same for our register button as well. So for it, here in the href, we are going to say to second bracket then we'll say url to first bracket to single quotation and we'll say here register so let's save it and let me just refresh again here and right now let's click on register there you can see it took us to the register page so right now let's try to log in so let's click login let's give our user email then password on two three four five six seven eight then click login so it took us to the user dashboard so right now what we want is that whenever the user login we want the user to stay on the same page and instead of uh, for logged in user instead of login or registration option we'll have the logout option so for it we need to make some changes in our code obviously so let's go back to our code and right now, first of all, uh, let me just show you one more thing. Since we are already logged in, so if we just say over here home, it will take us to the dashboard. So we are going to first make some changes in this dashboard. We will only uh, we will remove everything from the dashboard and we only keep this part. Okay. So first of all, let's remove this section. So let's go back and the dashboard is coming from here. Here you can see uh, in the views we have this dashboard okay let me just minimize everything so in the views we have dashboard.blade.php which is basically this one 
so let me just go to the dashboard and inside dashboard here you can see some text dashboard and some other design so if you remove everything and only keep those two things and save it then if we now refresh here there you can see all the text from here is gone there is now a almost white skin so it is not white this is a different color this is kind of gray color so we'll also remove this gray color so in order to remove this gray color what we need to do is that we need to go to our navigation menu dot plate dot php over here inside the views navigation menu dot plate dot php and once you come over here uh, here you can see a logo option here you can see logo so uh, let me just show you so here you can see a logo this logo is coming from the navigation menu dot plate dot php and here you can see dashboard this is also coming from the navigation menu dot plate dot php so first of all let me just remove the logo from here if we just remove the logo board let me just show you uh, just remove this div from here then save then refresh here there you can see the logo is gone so right now let's go and remove this dashboard option as well so for it uh, here you can see navigation links and uh, here you can see the dashboard text so we'll also remove this div as well let's remove the div save then refresh there you go the dashboard option is also gone so right now let's do one more thing that this div is no longer useful so we can just remove this and save it so let's just refresh again and this option this log logout option will move to this section so here you can see a gray color option so we'll remove this so in order to remove it we need to go to our layouts then app.blade.php and here you will find this one here you can see mean age skin bg gray 100 at line 23 so we'll remove it then save it then let's go back and let's refresh here and there you can see the gray color is gone and we only have the logout option so right now here you can see line over here so we will also remove this line from here so in order to remove this line what we need to do is we again need to go to our navigation menu dot blade dot php and over here you can see class at the top you will see class bg white border b border get 100 so we'll also remove this class we'll save it Control s then let's go back to our browser let's refresh and there you can see that the line is gone and right now we only have the user logout option so right now what we'll do is that we'll have this user logout option in our home page so when the user is logged in instead of login and registration it will show us the logout option so for it we need to apply a condition over here at the header section of our template so let's go back to our code again and we'll go dot header section header.blade.php let me just separate those login and register so here we'll apply a condition and we can just apply that condition from our uh, welcome.blade.php so we'll go to our welcome.blade.php and here we'll go down uh, we'll come over here at line around 20 so here you can see if condition if route has login it means if someone is logged in then we'll show the dashboard option and if someone is not logged in then we'll come to the else condition and in the else condition we'll show the login and register option so what we'll do is that we'll copy this if condition here you can see if condition started from here and the if condition ended over here here you can see end if so we'll just copy this from here Control c and we'll paste it in our header.blade.php so after this li tag uh, let me just paste over here control v so here you can see we have the login option so let me just remove this and here in that uh, let me just show you again so here we have the login option so what you will do is that we will copy this li or cut this li for logged in from here and we'll paste it over here in this login so we'll remove this login and paste our previous li tag like this so the same way we'll also remove this register option register anchor tag from here and cut this register option register list and paste it over here inside this if condition okay 
So right now, if we save it and if we now refresh here, there you can see it is showing us the dashboard option because we are logged in. So here, let me just explain the condition over here again. If route has logged in, login, it means here we are checking the auth. If there is any auth, it means if there is any logged in user, we'll show the dashboard text. Or else, if there is no logged in user, then we'll show the login and register option. So right now, what we are going to do is that instead of this dashboard option, we are going to uh, have this except layout and closing except layout over here. So we'll remove this dashboard option and paste this except layout here like this. Okay. So I am trying my best to explain. I hope you understand. So let's save it. So right now, if we refresh, we should have a logout option over here. And there you can see we have a logout option over here. So right now, if we click logout, okay, it took us to the home page and there's now login and register option, but it is below each other. Let me just change that design a little bit. Okay, so here we have class, uh, div class something. So we'll just remove this div from here. Okay, and remove this div from here as well. Let's save it again and let me just refresh again. And there you can see it is now showing properly. So right now let's try to log in. So we'll give our user Gmail address and we'll give the user password, click login. There you can see it took us to the user dashboard. But what we want is that when the user logged in, it will still keep us on the same page with this logout option. So for it, what we need to is that right now we need to go to our admin controller. Let me just go to the app, HTTP, controllers and admin controller. So here we mentioned that uh, when a user is trying to log in, return the view to the dashboard. That we mentioned uh, when we make the multi authentication So right now, instead of uh, returning the user to the dashboard, we return the user to the whole index file. Uh, here you can see index.blade.php will return the user to the index.blade.php and index.blade.php has everything, header, slider, whatever. So for it, let's go back to our admin controller and here, return view dashboard, instead of return view dashboard, we are going to say home. We mention our folder name home. And then we'll mention the file name, which is index and index.blade.php has everything, the header section, room, slider, everything, okay. So let's save this and right now, let me just refresh here again. Let's click log out from here right now and let's try to log in again. So let's click log in. Let's try to log in with the, with the user on 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Click log in and there you can see it took us back to the room view. The home view, this is our home view and after login, it will keep the user on the same page with the logout option. So right now let's try to register and see if it works properly or not. So let's register a user, let's set here user2, email will be user2 at the rate of gmail.com, phone number, a random phone number, password 1234567812345678. Click register and after register, it will take us to the same view. Here you can see user 2. And there you can see the design changed over here. And we also removed the blog section from our project. So we can just remove this blog option at the top from the top. So uh, let me just go to the header.blade.php and let me just remove the blog list from here. Save it. Then refresh here. So everything looks perfect. Uh, so right now, let me just uh, show you one more thing. That is right now, if we log out and right now, if we try to log into the admin dashboard, you'll see a different admin dashboard. So eight, click login. And there you can see the admin login logout list is on the left side because we made some changes in the navigation menu and also in the app.blade.php, that's why. And in the admin, let me just go to the admin folder, index.blade.php over here. 
in the admin we have those options that's why we are seeing all those text so this is all for this tutorial in this tutorial what we did is that we just make our login and registration option and when the user try to log in it will keep the user on the same page so in the next tutorial what we do is that we add a admin template in our project so that admin can add rooms or see messages or see bookings okay so this is all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching if you have any question just let me know in the comment section or you can suggest me anything if you want make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials